Previously, on the first episode of my West Coast road trip, I faced car trouble, accommodation issues, and four and a half long days on the road. Despite all the challenges I faced, I was still able to stop at some interesting attractions and beautiful sights. The long days on the road were just what I needed to work through more of my healing from the past few years. We left off arriving in BC at my mom's cousin's house, tired and ready for a few days of staying put. The five days I spent in BC were a nice rest in between the long driving days of getting here and heading home. I attended a friend's wedding, which was beautiful and fun. I got to hang out with one of my best friends and her family who accepted me in and made me feel like one of their own. I also got a lot of opportunity to hang with some of my extended family and get to know them and experience their wonderful and generous hospitality. I got to step back in history at Fort Henry. Spent a day exploring Granville Island Public Market and Stanley Park in Vancouver. Rode the sea to sky gondola up to the summit and walked the suspension bridge to take in the magnificent views of the area. Chased waterfalls at Shannon Provincial Park. Hiked through fairy tale forest to a 30 foot pool of turquoise water at Lynn Canyon.
and trekked up Cypress Mountain to St. Mark's Summit, which challenged me more than any hike ever has before. This section of my trip was a slower pace and all about relationships, which was very different from the rush solo days on the road getting there. As much as I love traveling solo, it was so nice to be able to spend so much time exploring the sites with other people and getting to spend such precious time with family and friends.